friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing my first trash talk slash declutter of 2018. It feels crazy that I've already got stuff accumulating, but a lot of it is declutter items. I recently went through my lip collection in particular. It feels weird saying I have a lip collection when I don't really wear a lot of lip products, but I really did a lot of swatching and playing and like narrowing stuff down. And so my little bucket that I put all of my trash in was pretty full. So that I would just go ahead and sit down and show you my empties first and then show you the declutter items. I'll put timestamps down below for you. So the first things that I have are just like these small sort of samples. I was trying to work through samples as they came in in a lot of like my Christmas purchases. So I used up the living proof restore shampoo and conditioner nothing super magical and amazing that I would absolutely need to repurchase I used up a few single-use makeup wipes that came in different like things that I've ordered and I used them when I was up in Maine they did the job just fine but I'd prefer to have a packet versus individually wrapped ones I used up the um, YSL Touche Clot neutralizers this was the only one that I used it was the green one I found this stuff to be really thin so when you would go to put it on areas like where you had redness it wouldn't fully combat the redness because it just wasn't quite thick enough as a formula so I would not go out of my way to buy this I used the origins checks and balances frothy face wash it was a nice sample but as you guys know when I used up a deluxe size I don't love it enough to want to buy it I used up the philosophy purity made simple three-in-one cleanser this sample is very deceptive in the fact that it will last a super long time it's a nice cleanser but nothing again that I would want to go out and buy I'm someone who's more into acne or or oily skin type of cleansers. I also have this RMS Beauty. This is a like coconut oil based makeup remover wipe. This stuff was awful. It really didn't work. It left an oily residue on my skin. Not a fan of it. Wouldn't buy these. I also used up these nice and clean makeup removing cleansing towelettes. These I'm pretty sure my mom got at the dollar store maybe and didn't like them and gave them to me. They were fine. They were a little bit difficult to take some makeup off with but it did the job. Would I get these again? No but if my mother had any more to give me, I would probably use them up. Um, I used up a bath bomb. This is the bath bomb that came in my monthly fortune cookie soap. It was the January box. It had really, really pretty colors, but it partly stained some areas of my skin because I'm so pale, but it was really pretty and it was just so big. It took a long time to fizz out. And I think again, it had a lot to do with the size of it. So I did enjoy it, but I don't take baths enough to buy bath bombs on the regular. I finished up my Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clear Invisible Dots. These are for blemish treatments. You basically just take the little dots and stick them on your blemishes overnight. I did enjoy these. I think that they really were effective. I probably will pick some more up at the spring Sephora sale when I think I will probably be a bit more prone to acne in those warm esque months. I have a few hair items. This is the Cool Way Leave-In Treatment. You guys are going to see a lot of these in the near future because I'm really trying to focus on using up these leave-in treatments or these types of like all-in-one type products as heat protectant sprays. I also use the Davines All-in-One Multi-Benefit Beauty Treatment. This I did not like the scent of and neither one of these I thought were really that great. I'm just happy that they are out of my collection. I used up the Suave Coconut Oil Infusion Damage Repair Shampoo. This is the one that we've kept in Maine every time Ben and I have gone. We just use it up there. We finally worked through this one and there's just a little bit left of the conditioner. Um, surprisingly, we worked through a shampoo first. This stuff is nice. I think it really is effective. I would definitely pick it up again, but you guys know I have a big hoard of shampoo and conditioner in the closet, so I won't be buying it anytime soon, but I do recommend it. Uh, I used up the Palmer's Cocoa Butter uh, Heels Softens Lotion. This packaging was awful. I had to cut it open because the plastic was really hard and I couldn't get product out of. I did not like this stuff because it smells basically like the uh, hot cocoa candle from Bath and Body Works, which initially sounded like really a great idea, but I think with my body chemistry, I just don't like smelling like chocolate. So I probably wouldn't buy this again, but if I had a sample, I would use it. If you like that scent or it will mix well with your body chemistry, I'd recommend it. Otherwise, I'd pass. Um, I used up this C perfume from Giorgio Armani. It was fine, nothing I need to go out and buy. Uh, I managed to use up this CarMax, uh, I don't know, the packaging is kind of really worn away, but it's basically a lip balm. This I had a love-hate relationship with. I liked it, but the packaging is really difficult to work with because sometimes it would move product up, sometimes it wouldn't, sometimes it would get stuck. Um, I got some stuck at the top of the cap there, so I wouldn't buy CarMax again. I, I think either I stick to Chapstick or Nivea over this. 
This was in my Finish 9 by New Year's. And this is the Acure Pore Clarifying Red Clay Mask. I managed to finally use this up. I had a little bit of a acne breakout going on there, so I got one more use out of this. This was somewhat effective, but I didn't really like the smell of it, so I probably wouldn't buy it again. And this came in the Whole Foods beauty sample or skincare sample bag that they came out with once a year. And I appreciated getting to use it, but it's not something I really liked. I used up another of the Ollie The Perfect Women's Multivitamins. These things are my absolute fave. Swear by them. Highly recommend them. I have some wax items. First thing I have is the CW Home White Pumpkin Candle. This is a two wick, which I don't typically purchase, but I like the like the nice sort of bakery pumpkin scent in this, so I thought I'd give it a try. This was awesome. First off, very little sooting, which I was very really surprised by. Second, this had such a long scent throw to it and a long life. I kept burning this and burning this and burning this, hoping that I could get through it because I was wanting to like burn something out. So I'm the kind of person who, when I start a candle, I see it to the end. And I just couldn't believe how long it lasted. This was really great. I have not seen this since I first randomly saw it, but if I saw it again, I would definitely pick it up either as a two wick or a three wick. I have this Dessa's Homespun Scents Zucchini Creme Brulee. This didn't really do it for me. It didn't have much of a scent to it, so I probably wouldn't pick this one up again. I've got the Better Homes and Gardens Fall Into Autumn Cubes. This. I really liked it. It really has like a cider type note to it, but it wasn't super long lasting. It kind of faded really fast. I did enjoy it when I could smell it. And then there's the Dessa's Homespun Scents Christmas Tree, which smells like balsam fir. Very much enjoyed this. I coupled it up with a candle to make my entire living room smell like balsam fir. It was magical. I'm still um, burning a balsam fir candle, so you might see a couple more um, wax belts in that same vein that I'm coupling up with them. And then I have one makeup item that I essentially like depotted. This is the Maybelline New York Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. I like really like this as a base. It's very sort of lightweight and very long lasting, but the packaging is brutal. The square packaging here makes it really difficult to get product out of like the crevices in here. If you can look in, I took the stopper out a hundred years ago and I've tried to scrape product out, but I can't get a beauty spoon in here. I used a Q-tip to pull some product out and I got as much out as I could. So even though I like this product, product I won't buy it again unless they change the packaging because it really just there's too much waste in here and I'm not somebody who likes to waste product when I could definitely scoop it out and use it if it were in a circular type package. Yeah. So now we're gonna move into the declutter portion of this. I have a couple of eye products that I'm getting rid of. The first is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. I got this in a um, BoxyCharm and I really wanted to like this. It looks really pretty, a lot of neutral colors in here. I thought I could get a lot of use out of it, but the powders themselves are quite thick. Like if you look at the way it is being worn down, because I really did try to use this, I found that the product just was really heavy and didn't sort of blend into my skin. It just sort of sat there. And so for that reason, I don't want to try to mess around with this since I didn't pay full price for this. I feel much more inclined to let it go and not force myself to use it. I've also got the Walking on Eggshells Wet and Wild Trio. I um, tried to pan this a couple years ago and I got really far into this. I loved this for a very long time, but the reality is I have a lot of colors that look like this shadow, so I don't feel the need to hold on to this anymore and try to literally work through every ounce of this. I've gotten good use out of it. I might repurchase something like this in the future, but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this go. Got a couple of mascaras that are kind of like on their last legs. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. The first is the Mineral Fusion Minerals on a Mission Mascara. This doesn't do a whole lot for my eyelashes despite saying it's volumizing. Uh, I would not recommend this and would not buy this. The other one that I have is the Ulta Voluptuous Volume. This I think is just drying out and not producing much of an impact on my eyelashes the way that it used to when I first had it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch it. And then I'm also getting rid of my Real Techniques sponge. I have actually been very disappointed in this sponge. I don't know what it is, but it like seems to be wearing away really quickly and not holding up to all the wear and tear like a beauty blender would. I also feel like it is very watery. I can't seem to always get the water out of it. And so it ends up sort of like 
not really giving my coverage, not really giving my foundation a lot of coverage. And I just, I don't know, I really like this when I had first bought it a few years ago and I'm not sure what's changed. Maybe my skin has changed and now it needs a bit more. I'm not sure, but I actually went out and bought a beauty blender because I could not handle this. Okay, now on to the lip products that I'm decluttering. I won't go through and swatch these or anything. The reality is for all of these, I either don't like the color, it's not a good match for me, or I don't like the finish of it. So I'll just go ahead and show you all of them and then we will wrap this up. All right, I'm getting rid of this Ulta Brilliant Color Bronzy Type Shade. Saying goodbye to the e.l.f. lip balm in pink. Getting rid of this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. This NYX Sky Pink Lipstick is gonna go. A lot of these I acquired in um, like beauty boxes or subscription boxes. The Laka & Co Lip Lube. The MAC Love Child Lip Glass. The Sephora Rouge Infusion, the neutrals in the shade Peony. Bare Minerals Pop of Passion Plum Berry Pop. Tarte Set Sail. Fortune Cookie Soap XOXO Lip and Cheek Stain. I actually just got this, but there is zero pigment in here despite it looking super dark. Tartist Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in, in the shade Ultra Dior. Got a bunch of NYX ones I'm gonna get rid of. The NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper in Elizabeth. And then I've got three butter glosses that I'm getting rid of in Strawberry Parfait, Fortune Cookie, and Sugar Cookie. The e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Nudie Nude. The e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine in Pink Kiss. Bite Rhubarb. I've got the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks in Pinky Promise. Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Sweetheart Valentine. Jing Ai Vel Velvet Shine Lip Jewel. I don't know if I said that name correctly. The NARS in Super Vixen. Ciate Liquid Velvet in Pin Up. Pacifica um, Deeply Devoted Natural Lipstick in Tender Heart. This one, I have, I have no idea what happened to it. Couldn't, couldn't tell you what happened to it, but it's gotta go. And the last one is the L'Oreal Lilac. I don't know what shade this is. So like I said, a lot of lip products. I still have quite a few left, but the ones that I have, I feel are much more manageable to work through or ones that I actually like. So I feel really good about it, but that is it for me. I would love to hear what you've been up to at the start of the new year. If you've been doing any like house cleaning or decluttering, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.